Hey everyone, welcome along to the channel today and today I have got my Mir 6x6 attached to my RC car. This is a little idea I came up with last night, so I thought I'd give it a run today. Um, I'm hoping it'll all be alright, I've put the tape round to kind of hold the back on, I ran it around a few places last night and hit a few things and it slowly started to knock it off a little bit. Um, so yeah, going to see what happens. It's a little bit top heavy on the back, um, so it's a little bit wobbly, so it might flip. So I've got to be a little bit careful with it. Uh, so I'm getting about 8 to 10 second exposures today, so it's going to be quite a long, um, some long exposures. Should, should create some quite interesting results, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let's give it a try. So for the first shot, I'm just going to do one without a move and just get an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, because when it is going, it is going to be a little bit blurry. Uh, it is quite solid on there. The shell moves quite a bit. But it's quite solid on the shell. So it should get most of the roof, the front wheels in. So it'll be quite interesting. So I'm going to do a 10 second without it moving. Okay, so that's exposure one done. Let's get this thing moving. Let's go open this up and do about a 10 second exposure of it going along. Okay, so there's our first little crash. Uh, that's why I've put the tape on it, because that could have ripped the back off. So, try a couple more of these, and uh, then maybe try something a little bit different. I was hoping to do like a, a bit of a donut thing. This thing does normally do some really good spinny donuts, but with the camera weight on the back, it kind of sticking it to the ground a bit more, so it's not doing it. So I'm gonna try one. Um, just going in circles really, but I'll see if I can spin it up a little bit. But um, it means chucking it around a bit quick. So that didn't work, uh, the surface here, I tried it without the camera just now and the surface here is too grippy so it's just gripping around quite nicely actually. Uh, so I'm going to try and find some loose gravel, take a bit of off-roading, but I'm uh, going to whip this around the park quickly, maybe get some pinhole pictures of it and then uh, try and find a little off-road section.
Right, so that was just a couple of uh, still life shots of the car. Uh, I'm just going up to a, what looks like a slightly overgrown old BMX track. I don't know if off-roading it with uh, the pinhole cameras on the back is the best idea, but we'll have a quick look, see what we can find up here. Might be able to manage a little jump or two. And uh, hopefully it survives. I don't know if this is the uh, best idea, but I did message Andre, who designs and prints these cameras last night and showed him the video of it. And he did say, if I break it, it will make me a new one. So, um, <laughs> let's just go for it. Let's just go for this. And um, anyway, if it crashes, there won't be a video because it will destroy the film inside anyway. So. Clearly it survived. Well, it's not going to make the jump because it's too heavy, but I'm uh, going to try it anyway over this one. It's going to stack. didn't work did it? A bit heavy on the back. Right so I'm gonna try that again. I've only got two shots left so I've got to be a bit careful now. I think part of the problem with that I was trying to open the shutter, get to a good angle. So I'm just gonna put the camera in hopefully a good angle and go. Well, that took a couple of attempts, so <laughs> I don't know what it's going to come out like. I was trying to count the exposures in my head. Right, so I've got one more shot left. I did find a little spot where uh, the car donated quite well. I've not tried it with the pinhole camera on top, so I'm going to do that for my last shot. Hopefully it works with the camera on top. Um, I doubt it will, but we'll uh, quickly head there. And see, and see how that looks. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Uh, back end's too heavy. But what I do quite like is the fact um, I managed to get air off that ramp with a pinhole camera on top, which I think's the world's first, personally. So. As I've got one more shot left, I'm gonna head back to the skate park and do a jump with the pinhole camera, take an exposure uh, to finish off this um, roll of film. Let's see if we can get a little bit higher, maybe a little bit more of a better action shot and uh, hopefully it survives. Okay, so they've got the angle set up hopefully. I'm gonna... Um, go full speed. I'm going to wait over there and hopefully catch it. This is where I need a couple of cameras but I don't have them. Um, let's give this a go. I'm not going to wait over there because I've got to open the shutter and I've got time to open it and run so I've just got to kind of let it be really. Um, anyway. Oh, 
Okay everyone, so that is it. So the actual shot, it did land, the camera landed, uh, which I'm gonna say is the world's first pinhole RC get an air camera shot, maybe. Um, I reshot that a few times just to try and get some different angles, and every time after that it crashed, and I've completely destroyed my shell. Look at that. <laughs> it's all over the place. Uh, thankfully I have a spare at home. Uh, but I won't be doing that much more. I did uh, stack the camera a few times as well. Um, oh dear, yeah. Yeah, I think I've broken the camera as well. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but I'm sure nothing a bit of glue can't fix. But anyway guys, I really, really hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh, progressing this on, I may uh, try and get the switch box shutter system into it and maybe do some skateboard panning photos and stuff. But we'll just see. So anyway, make sure you subscribe. Join me next time for some more pinhole fun videos. And I'll uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching, everyone.